Hello and welcome to our podcast, Art in Conversation. I'm India. And I am Scarlett. And we are from 108 Fine Art Gallery. In this episode, we'll be speaking to gallery owner and art collector, Paul McTague. I'm Paul, Paul McTague. Um, I run the McTague Gallery, uh, where I've been for probably nearly 40 years now. Um, so dealing in 18th and 19th century paintings um, and also rare prints. Were you brought up in a household where art was influential? Yes, very much so. Um, my dad was uh, an artist, a teacher, then a lecturer, then a restorer, conservator of the paintings. Um, so really we were, the whole family really was surrounded by pictures, uh, artists, Dad used to help put exhibitions on for the festival and so yeah very much so although when I was younger I didn't really um, sort of know that I would um, follow a similar sort of career path. Why and when did you decide to open an art gallery and what did you do previous to this? Uh, when I left school I worked for a builder for a few years um, just really decided I didn't want to work in an office. Mm. After I've done that for three or four years, I think that's when I started getting a bit of an interest. My dad worked behind the, the house in like a workshop studio where he did his conservation by then. And he said, I think he said to me, why don't you start buying and selling a few pictures? So I set up like a framing workshop there where he was working and bought and sold a few pictures from there. Um, for a year or two, I'm not really sure uh, how long. And then I'd had my eye on a, a, an old, this old property in Harrogate and um, my, brother, my brother and I bought it together and we converted it into the gallery then. And would you consider yourself to be primarily a collector, art dealer or gallery owner or does it just blend into one? Um, you know, it does blend in, into one really, because what I like doing is finding and buying a nice picture. Yeah, it's all about the buying really. I only buy what I like, so that side of it could almost be collecting. It's lovely when a client tunes into your way of thinking, sees the same things you see in a picture. Um, so that's the sort of dealing side. And then running the gallery. So yeah, it does, it does merge into one really, particularly when you work the way that I do, trying to select uh, only things that I that appeal to me. And do you get to go out to auctions yourself or is it mostly online that you get to find your works? Um, I do go and view auctions. Being at the, I open the gallery Wednesday to Saturday, so I do have a chance to view auctions. If there's something I really, um, an important thing, I should really try and view it. If it's a more minor thing, I can do it online. With technology growing, have you found any like unexpected art online that you might have not found like in person? Um, yes, I have. Uh, and the interesting part of that is um, I do search for certain artists online, but you only want to try and select the best of that artist's work, best not to try and buy a name. We, we all have made that mistake, I guess. Um, but what online viewing can do is it introduces you to, you might just, a, a certain picture might appeal by an artist you've never heard of. I've bought one or two Scottish things recently. I don't know whether that's partly because of my um, my mum and dad coming from up there and having that connection. And those are things I've just come across just by looking through sales catalogues and online. Uh, online viewing, I mean, it's opened it up massively for um, to save you sort of racing around every sale. I'm getting into auctions at the moment. I've been buying quite a lot and um, I just love it. It's my favorite thing to do. I think I'm going to start opening a shop. Yeah. But, uh, well, what, what, ad what advice would you be able to give me for like well, this thing? Um, 
advice really the first thing is try and buy what you like deal in something that you like and then you, you enjoy your job much more um, and also you tend to find out more about things that you like um, it's it's an easier thing to do my daughter Emma is quite interested in uh, she's been buying and selling a, you know a few pictures and frames and things like that and selling them on Instagram, selling them on eBay. Um, she, I think, has got the bug. Um, so you can do it that way to start with, can't you? You know, and um, online. And then there is something nice about having a shop though. Um, yeah. And having a shop or a gallery, it needn't be in a really expensive sort of area. You know, if you've got some nice, unusual things, people will come to you. So you can have a sort of modest premises to start with. And it's a great way to make a living, I think. And what advice would you give to those who are interested in a career within the arts? All right. Um, firstly, if you're young and looking for work, maybe work get a, a job in an auction house you know a, a good auction house like Bonhams or a provincial one like Tenants there you will see if you want interested in pictures you see thousands of pictures if you're interested in furniture even if, if, if you're working as a porter say in the, in the furniture department you're seeing and handling furniture day in day out or porcelain if you're interested in that um, so that's one good way or approach a gallery as well um, say in Harrogate for example we've got some very good galleries Walkers, Sutcliffe's, 108 Fine Art, um, Red House Originals, my nephew all these people are passionate about what they're dealing and always generous with uh, you know sharing the knowledge so that's another way you could go so an auction house or a, or a gallery what would the 18 year old Paul McTague think of what you have achieved and the path you have taken? Oh, um, I, uh, I think he'd be, he'd be pleased. Maybe I would say um, that I touched on it before. I think I would have maybe liked to have had a slightly broader knowledge about, or a knowledge of a, a broader. Um, range of um, periods of painting um, maybe old masters I'd have liked to my, my dad had a massive knowledge about old masters right through to modern painters um, but my knowledge is fairly fairly narrow um, as I say I, you know I do like um, modern pictures but my, my knowledge is fairly limited so I would have probably like to have learnt a bit more. My nephew Richard, as I say, with Red House Originals, he's um, helping me a bit and introducing me to the modern things and guiding me through it. But apart from that, I think um, I'm happy with what I do. Yeah, I'm happy with what I do. Thank you for listening to Art in Conversation with Paul McTague. If you missed any previous podcasts, these can be found on our website www.108fineart.com forward slash podcasts. Follow us for regular podcasts and give our show a like, share and review.